Hey, what's going on guys? Sam here and today we got some crazy new content in NBA 2K20. They added a bunch of new Evos to the game and I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen these, but the purpose of this video is I want to show you guys all of the Evos. You know, obviously you can go to MT Central eventually. I don't think as of right now they've updated the stats, but eventually you'll be able to go see all the attributes on the website, but you will not be able to see the badges. So the purpose of this video is to show you guys all the new badges. And I also will just show here guys, you can look at all the new Evos potentially or not potentially you can look at all the new evos and all the evos in the game by going over to these packs and you, as you can see here there's just, just a bunch of them so many of them but the main purpose of this video guys is to show you all the badges so let's go ahead and hop into that we'll start with the players that i do have and we will show you guys galaxy global david robinson and dominique wilkins first because i i do have those cards so galaxy global david robinson gets crazy crazy attribute boost i'm not gonna i'm not gonna read through all of them but i'm just gonna scroll through them and like i said the purpose of this is to go through the badges because a lot of you guys aren't gonna have you know every single one every single one of these cards so i want you guys to be able to see the badges before you go out and buy them or redeem 750 tokens so i will say the big one here is he gets range extender and quick first step that is huge on d rob he also gets like hall of fame clamps so that's definitely a w we'll go down to magic johnson you need 500 three-pointers to get hall of fame range so that one you know nothing i mean that's it's a w but it's not really worth it i'd say go out of your way maybe just casually get that up next we got dominique wilkins 50 points just like d rob i forgot to mention that it's only 50 points for the penny hardaway Dominique Wilkins, D-Rob, and Grant Hill. But getting into the stats and badges of Dominique Wilkins, he got Corner Specialist, that's nice. He got Dimer, who else? Hall of Fame Clamps, Intimidator, and Interceptor, that's huge. Post Lockdown, Needle Threader, Quick First Step, Hall of Fame, Unpluckable. Definitely, yeah, Range Extender, there we go. Floor General, definitely a update that we needed on this card. And I guess we'll continue to just go through my collections before we hop onto the website that I'm gonna show you guys that I'm using to get all of these badges for you guys but anyway up next we have michael ray richardson 253 50 steals this one is kind of tougher but definitely worth it because he's already a lockdown defender but this with these badge upgrades he I i'm pretty sure he gets range extender and just a lot more offense and yeah there it is range extender so this card is gonna be absolutely insane with all those badges man this is crazy this is def definitely a huge w probably one of the biggest w's 2k has taken all year I know a lot of people have been saying, yo, upgrade these cards, and they, they upgraded the majority of them. But moving on here to Aaron Baines, Amethyst, 53 pointers, 25 double doubles. That's actually quite a bit. 75 blocks, 375 points. But this is another crazy nice card. Crazy stats. I'll go back up again because I kind of went quick there, but this card's going to be an absolute beast. The Amethyst was already really good, but imagine this at Pink Diamond. Clamps on gold, pickpocket, Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame defending badges, quick first step, downhill. Quick draw, Hall of Fame, Range Extender, like that, that is just crazy. Who else? I think there's just a handful more cards that I actually own before I have to switch over here. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go as quick as I can because I don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be. Let's see. Anything else? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over because I do have, I do have a website you guys can go to to go through and look at this. There's basically a guide for every single Evo card in the game, guys. If you maybe if you're watching this video super early it's probably not going to be updated completely but they have a lot of the cards here I, i'll put the link to this guys in the description and in the comments so if you guys want to go check this out to see the badges and stats you can definitely go here this is on 2k gamer one of my favorite websites but we're going to go through here and you can just you know click on whatever player you want for example let's go to the new uh okay we have to go to the w's i want to go to wilkins all the way down to w for wilkins you just click on it look at this it shows you the stats and upgrades so that's definitely a very helpful resource but the good thing is i already pulled up all the players on here so we can go ahead and just go through them so moving in to the first player we got galaxy Oval, lebron james he actually got an evo and this card already has juice stats so <laughs> man they had to upgrade upgrade the post moves so it takes 250 points in the po in the post and he gets plus two fade plus eight hook plus two post moves so that's definitely nice maybe he'll even get post takeover i don't know that I don't know if you'd want that on LeBron, but that is LeBron's badge, or he doesn't even get badges, just attribute updates. Going on to the next one, though, Jason Terry, he does go to a Galaxy Opal, and he, as you can see here, 303 pointers, 40 points in a single game, 10 times. It's actually kind of crazy, but not, not too hard. Definitely doable. As you can see here for the badges, he gets some finishing badges. He gets Hall of Fame Clamps, Heart Crusher, Intimidator. That's pretty huge. Pro Touch, Fancy Forward, Contact, Finisher, Hall of Fame. What else? Hot Zone Hunter, that's actually a huge badge. What else? Floor General. I mean, yeah, definitely 
definitely a really good upgrade for Jason Terry. He already had probably Hall of Fame range and stuff, but this is just some nice defense and uh, finishing badges for him. So moving on to the next player, we got Taco Fall, who gets Catch and Shoot Hall of Fame, Corner Specialist, Green Machine, Hot Zone Hunter, Ice in the Veins, Quick Draw Hall of Fame, and he also gets Range Extender, Tireless Shooter, and Volume Shooter. So no speed upgrade, just a three-point upgrade, but Range Extender, so you can't really sag off this card anymore, and he does have the same release as Thon Maker, just to keep that in mind. So this card is definitely a big W. I really enjoyed using this card in the spotlights. So with Range Extender now, man, this card's going to be even tougher to guard. Moving on to the next player, though, Galaxy Opal, Kyrie Irving Evolves. All you need is 100 steals, which that's kind of, that's quite a few, but 100 steals and 50 points in a game 10 times, and he gets a lot of attribute boosts, gets some, you know, defensive upgrades. Then again, he's already a Galaxy Opal, so nothing too crazy, but he does get Pick Dodger, Intimidator, that's huge, and Trapper. I'd say Intimidator is definitely the biggest upgrade to this card. Up next, we have Jay Williams, who I forget who his dynamic duo is with, but he also gets Hall of Fame range extender when you evolve him. It's pretty simple. Just make three three-pointers in a single game. That's super, super easy and definitely a nice budget card. I guess I already pulled this link up twice. I guess we'll X out of that. Up next, we have Aaron Gordon, and I don't own this card, so I'm going to show you guys the requirements. He's got, or he needs 100 three-pointers, 200 rebounds, 100 assists, 100 steals, and what does that say? 800 points, maybe 600. I can't really tell. But the hardest part of this is obviously going to be the steals. And yeah, nothing nothing too crazy here. Or it's definitely kind of crazy to get the, the upgrades. But if we go down to the stats, you can see he gets good post. Okay, he was already laughing in the post moves. So he gets plus 16 to post moves. 96 draw foul. Boosted three-pointer. Great, great rebounding now in the 90s. What else? He gets a defensive boost. He gets a strength boost. Speed with ball with a 90. And then going into the badges, corner specialist, Hall of Fame, difficult shots, post spin. So it looks like he's going to be able to play in the post more. Dimer on goal. That's crazy. Break starter. Definitely a huge badge. Rim protector, box, interceptor. Man, this card's going to be complete. I'm pretty sure you can run him at small forward too. Yeah, small forward right there you can see. So you could definitely run this card at the small forward, especially with upgraded defense. He's got Rebound Chaser. He didn't have Rebound Chaser before. That's kind of crazy. Post Lockdown, Back Down Punisher. So this card's just all around now, guys. Oh, handles for days, tight handles, Unpluckable. Yo, this card's a demigod. Hall of Fame range, Hall of Fame quick draw. So definitely a nice card. I agree. Dribble, dribble God here. <laughs> that card's insane. Moving on to Twitter now. I couldn't find any more pictures of John Wall. I'm pretty sure uh, by the time. Maybe I can go back here to the W. Oh, I accidentally X out of it. Let's see. Let's see, go to the W's. All right, well, I messed up. Let's see if we can get to the W's here because I think he did update John Wall here. Let's go down to the W's. John Wall, I guess we don't have John Wall. Never mind. I was wrong. So there's no picture of John Wall for the badges. I apologize about that, guys. So I'm not sure what he gets, but I, I have seen, I remember seeing on Twitter, he does get a bunch of Hall of Fame badges. But as you can see from this picture, courtesy of Shaking Bake, he does get a lot of attributes. So that's definitely nice. Moving on next to De'Aaron Fox Pink Diamond. It takes 900 points, 300 assists, 100 steals, 50 dunks, and 50 block shots. The blocks, that is going to be very annoying. I didn't even see this before the video, but 50 blocks, that is going to be very, very annoying. But let's see if the upgrades are worth it. Hall of Fame Intimidator, Corner Specialist, Break Starter, uh, Pogo Stick. I mean, that's kind of nice. What else does he get? Tight Handles, Hall of Fame, Hot Zone Hunter, Dead Eye. That's huge. Hall of Fame Range, Quick Draw. Okay. Okay, I think it might be worth it. I think that might be worth it. X out there. Okay, so Darren Fox, that's definitely looking like one of the harder ones because 50 blocks on a guard, that's no easy task. Just ask the people who tried to evolve Billy Cunningham. But anyway, moving on, courtesy of Henry the Blazian HTB here, we have Porzingis' upgrades. And this card, people are saying is going to be better than, than Shaq now. And I kind of agree because Hall of Fame clamps with improved lateral quickness and perimeter defense. Uh, yeah, this card is going to be probably better than Shaq just because of the release. But 200 steals, definitely no easy task. And 200 blocks, that, that should be easier. But the steals, that's definitely going to be annoying. And then moving on to the last couple cards we have here. We already covered Michael Ray Richardson. Don't need him. Carmelo. This is the new updated Carmelo. It's 100 steals, not 100 steals in a game. They fixed that. 300 assists, 100 blocks, 200 three-point attempts. I don't know where the badge upgrades are. I apologize about that. I, I couldn't find them on here. But let me know, guys. It, let, let me know in the comments below what his badge upgrades are because people do read the comments so maybe you'll be able to help them out or then again you can just go to the guides because by the time you're watching this you will probably see the updated list but anyway moving on to eric Peschall, 
goes to a pink diamond from Amethyst and doesn't take too much. I mean, the 50 blocks, again, that's going to be kind of annoying, but at least he's taller. But you can look at this. This card's absolutely amazing. Like, crazy attributes. You know, the attributes were already solid, but looking at the badges, guys, oh my gosh. Dimer, Hall of Fame clamps. I mean, you can just see here. I'm not going to read through all of them, but look at this. So many new gold badges. Range extender, unpluckable, tight handles, like volume shooter. That's, that's just insane, boys. That is insane and going to be a very nice budget card. And moving on to the last two cards, we have Nikola Jokic. This one, I lied, guys. This is probably the hardest ones, or the hardest one, because if you look here, 100 steals. So that's definitely annoying for Jokic. 50, 50 triple doubles and 100 blocks. So 50 triple doubles. I. Good luck to my boy, Yezumite Ham, because 50 triple doubles, that's tough. And the, the upgrades are definitely nice. You know, he gets a speed upgrade. He gets Hall of Fame clamps pickpocket he gets more defense which Jokic is lacking but at the same time 50 triple doubles gg you got to be a pretty committed Jokic or nuggets fan to do this and for the last one let's see alonzo morning and shout out to my man john or g j d ala he just bought one for me consider this my donation for the day <laughs> he hooked us up here and as you can see dear lord boys 1,000 points, 500 rebounds. You know, this isn't going to be too hard to get the requirements, but looking at the badges, Catch and Shoot Hall of Fame, this card is going to be just absolutely insane. More speed, speed with ball. This card turns into a, a shooter. He gets pickpocket, chase down. He gets quick draw Hall of Fame, range center on gold, tile shooter, and volume shooter. Man, this this is such a big W from, from 2K today. And, yeah, man, I... This is crazy. A lot of these outdated cards got some upgrades, and I'm glad that they're listening to the community and implementing some of these changes. But guys, I have rambled and talked long enough. Hopefully, this video helped you out. Again, don't forget, if you want to see this guide right here, I will post a link to this in the description and in the in the uh, comments. So feel free to come use it. You can look up any of the Evo cards, and probably by the time you're watching this video, it's going to be updated all the way. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, and until next time, peace out.